Hi everyone, Tash the Leg. Welcome back to KC Himalaya channel. Hope you guys are doing awesome. I am Acharya Chodak and today we are going to visit one of the most beautiful Vajrayana temple in Singapore. Alright guys, when it comes to Singapore, the Lion City, every one of us is hyped by so many incredible places. Uh, you know, the iconic Marina Bay Saint, Futuristic Garden by B, the amazing Singapore Zoo, breathtaking skyscrapers, majestic city view. You I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new come back. But on the flip side, guys, this city offers much more than that. Uh, you know, incredible culture and heritage places like uh, Chinatown, Little India, and Arab streets, and so much more to explore. And this time, my destination is something simple, but heartwarming. You know, giving myself a moment of peaceful time. Because I'm going to visit the Sakya Temple Ling Monastery. Inaugurated Hello, in Pasiris in 1995, Sacha Tempeling is one of the first Tibetan Buddhist temple in Southeast Asia. The painting and carving of ornamental features on the temple stands out beautifully. Full-blown Tibetan Buddhist architecture, which is very rare to find in here. When you reach there, it gives a peaceful Himalayan culture vibe. The shrines inside the temple include a sacred representation of the Buddha, Bodhisattvas such as Tara and Chinrezig, and many more sacred statues. The temple's origin lies with the Singapore Buddha Sasana Society which was formed in a classroom at Mahabodhi School in 1965 and had premises in Sarangun and Kelang before relocating to Pasiris. In 1978, His Holiness the 41st Sakya Tenzin Ngawangkunga, head of the Sakya lineage of Tibetan Buddhism, visited Singapore and became the Buddha Sasana Society's spiritual pattern. He then sent many senior lamas to continue to conduct Buddha's teaching in Singapore. So guys, uh, before I actually visit the temple, I tried to reach out and they told me to leave my phone number. And yeah, a few days uh, later, they uh, reached me back. Uh, you know, one of a very friendly member who works there uh, called me back. And you know, uh, so if you want to come there and uh, you know, you want to do some we do about center uh so they told me that uh, yeah why not you come there and you know so i went there in 11 30 in the morning because actually i missed green tara puja they actually did in the morning uh, but you know so they told me they have a few more um activities in the afternoon so yeah and then i met a lot of central members there uh, they all are very, very friendly, uh, you know, very helpful. Uh, if I, if they see me, I'm there, you know, if they notice I'm like a, a kind of new there, they will try to approach me and try to help me in any ways. Guys, it was a very good kind of feeling that I met some people who actually almost, uh, you know, walk there and dedicate there almost like, uh, you know, same year as uh, center itself almost 40 above years they're working there and you know so anyways guys afternoon their first puja is Amitabha the Buddha of eternal life sutra praying 
uh, and which is led by which which is they perform in a Mahayana traditional way, which is very very beautiful. And you know, take a look at uh, my few clips. <laughs> And after that, uh, then they were doing the fire puja. If I tell you a little bit about the fire puja concept is, you know, fire puja in Tibetan is called jinsik. So the jinsik is just a two word, you know, first word is jin and then sik. So what what is um, what is actually saying is jin means giving and sik means burning. So what you what you're giving is uh, you know uh, not just us. You know, there's so many formless beings or spirit that are wandering in this world or in this dimension and we can see them and they are kind of helpless uh, they're suffering you know not having to eat not having to place to go they're kind of stuck and wandering in this world uh, so they are formless because we can't see them but while we are burning and you know uh, doing this uh, special puja, jinsik, uh, is kind of communicate communicate them while you're reciting Om Ahom or Om Manipemi Hong. It's kind of language that they will understand. Oh. And, and while you're burning the burning those substances, they will uh, able to consume, and that that satisfies those poor, helpless, wandering spirit. And same time, this will uh, you know. Uh, eliminate or obstruct obstacles that we might face uh, just because of this wandering uh, spirit. And same time, uh, you are burning off your uh, negativity deeds, or you know, uh, you're cutting off all the um, undesired uh, things that you might face in the future. So basically, uh, Jin Six concept, uh, puja concept is uh, something like that. So guys, this is my half day sort of coverage in uh, what the activities they do in the uh, Wazirayana Temple in Singapore. And uh, you know guys, uh, I'm still hoping to do few episodes uh, from particular 
this particular place, which is very beautiful. I'm going to, uh, you know, show you guys uh, their Vesak Day preparations. They said that this time they're trying to have a, you know, some kind of grand Vesak Day uh, celebration. And I'm hoping forward that too. So anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching my video. And as always, please help me uh, to grow my channel and subscribe, like, sharing and comments. All this is very, very important for me. And, you know, if you can, uh, same time, please follow my Instagram, follow, uh, follow my Odyssey and, you know, follow my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and take care.